Laws to Jennings. It's nudged away off the hip. And they're the first runs for Lancashire. And it's come from the Lancashire captain, Keaton Jennings. Just steered away to, to square leg. In over the wicket goes Laws. That's better from Keaton Jennings. Gets up on his toes, cuts away through the offside. Again, it shows how damp it is out there because it's not exactly <laughs> <laughs> flying through the outfield, is it? No, As no. Laws with sun out. And this is pulled off the front foot by Luke Wells. Through the leg side. And that will run away for four. It's an aggressive shot from MA501, of course, in first-class cricket. This is driven by Jennings back to Lawrence, and Lawrence takes the catch off his own bowling. And Dan Lawrence makes the breakthrough, and it's a big one for Surrey. It's Keaton Jennings for 11. With Wells waiting, comes around the wicket. Wells down on one knee and driving away. The ball disappears down towards third man for four runs. Wells moves on to 20. On the James Anderson in, Bahannon down the pitch to him. Wow, and smashes this straight back over Dan Lawrence's head and away for four. Clark bowls to Bahannon. That's come off the edge of the bat. He'll get runs down to third man. He might get four of them. I'm not sure if he's flipped that back successfully or not. Perhaps not. No. Lawrence to uh, to Bahannon. Oh, that ball's disappeared down towards fine leg. And it'll cross over the boundary rope. As Overton is in, and Bahannon cuts this one sure. away down to the third man boundary rope for four. Dan Lawrence in the sunshine from around the wicket, bowling to, to Wells, shoveled away out in front of square on the leg side. He's going to get four runs for it. Kimar Roach will not cut that off. Overton's in once more. Fuller of length this time. Oh, and Ollie Pope is diving away to his left hand side in there at leg gully. It was uppish from Bahannon. Perfect. That's fantastic. It's short ball. And oh, now what's that hit? Wells is ducking. What's that come off? Back of his bat, I think. Periscope's yeah. up. Yeah, he is. He's looking at the back of his bat and it's flown over. Ha. To Wells, 93 for one is the score, and he lifts this one away, and he's out and caught on the short of the boundaries out there at square leg, but it is out. He can't quite believe it. A little gift really out there. The catch has been taken. Dan Lawrence, I think it is, with the catch, and it's two wickets down at 93 for two. <laughs> he's uh, around the wicket by Roach to Balderson. Handsome looking drive, lovely shot, four runs. George Balderson's up and running for the evening session. Lawrence is in and straight down the pitch comes Bahannon. Good looking shot. I think he's pulled that, picked that up on the full actually and driven it away handsomely through extra cover off towards the benches. Here is Lawrence is into him and there's his 50. Nicely played. Just punched down the ground towards Long On. And that 50 coming from 89 deliveries with six fours. He comes once again. And that's short. That's a much better shot from Borderson. Just lays back. Doesn't try and hit that too hard. Just made sure that he he hit the gap. Lawrence in once more. Here goes Bahannon down the ground. How much of this has he got? A lot. Because that's straight over the sight screens for six. Lawrence over the wicket he comes. Here goes Bahannon again. That's an even better shot for me. Checks this up and over the top of mid-off and away for six. Oh, that's a lovely bit. Of in over the wicket to Bahannon does Lawrence. That short pulled by... Bahannon, it sent Tom Laws completely the wrong way there for a second, then got caught in the wind, and in the end, it's gone one bounce over the mid wicket boundary rope for four. Next over into Balderson. Oh, Nadan! He has! Middle stump's gone back, and he's found a way to beat Balderson's defences. As Lawrence is in, and all oh, this is out, yes, turned by Bahannon straight into the hands of Jamie Smith. It's a very good catch from Smith, actually, because he had to come up. Of the right-handed Hurst, as Lawrence is in two, Hurst. Oh, now he's padding up, he's gone first ball. And Hurst goes LBW. He's got himself in a right old tangle there. Okay. You know, it's a windy day today with Storm Kathleen. Well, that's a big storm of a shot as well. How far has that gone? Uh, down in front of us, and how far has it travelled? I need to get confirmation because we've lost his four. Lawrence, three wickets today into to Hartley, driven on the bounds to Sibley, an extra cover, and there is no run. 
There was still plenty given to that, as it is off the bat as well, and it probably deserved it, in fairness. That really has gone some way, cleared the rope there. It's a shorter boundary, but gosh, that had a bit of power behind it. Got it all wrong, Cam Still, on that occasion. As Lawrence comes in over the wicket. And Bruce, oh, has he got something on this? He is, he's caught behind. He's pushed forward. Expect him to be. Comes <gasps> forward, edge caught at slip. And he's on his way. Well, what a terrific effort this. Working now in tandem, Lawrence and Steele, and they're causing havoc with the Lancashire batters. Steele now in past umpire Pollard. Bowls, plenty given that. Now it's in the air. Oh, dear, there's going to be Patel under that. And yeah, takes the catch. And Bailey has gone. He's gone uh, a little early. Hamptonshire 292 for seven. It's edged and gone. Steele picks up his fourth wicket. A conversation about Hartley and Lyon, and can they play in the same team together for like a show? They're batting together now. It's Steele to, to Lyon, edged, gone. And Lancashire all out. Two in two for Cameron Steele and Nathan Lyon. As round the wicket he goes again. And he's a bit too short from Tom Hartley. And that's cut away by Dominic Sibley. I think this will get to the rope. It will indeed. And it's Surrey's first boundary of the piece. Four men around the batter, Dominic Sibley. Hartley's into him. Oh, and he's flicking around that front pad. There's a shout for LBW just to add a bit of excitement to that final ball of the day. But that is Stumps. There goes the cover.